Everybody, hurry! We have to get out of here! The parallel is coming! What? You've never heard of a bear owl? It's an owl with the head of a bear! It swallows the unworthy whole and absorbs their souls into its hideous essence! But before I go, I'm contractually obligated to welcome you all to Bumbling Through Dungeons, a new channel devoted to Dungeons & Dragons. It's gonna be fun, yeah. <clears throat> oh, oh god, oh god, it just, it just killed Karen and it's, it's mauling your children are bored, defenseless children! It's plucking their eyes out! I'm playing with them for no apparent reason! Oh my god! Now it's displaying the bloody eyeballs for the villagers who are looking on helplessly. What monster would do this? And just put it out there for everyone to watch. Hello! Welcome to Bumbling Through Dungeons, a new YouTube channel about RPGs and most specifically Dungeons and Dragons. My name is Mark Wilson and I'm thrilled to be here. I'm really excited that this channel's launching and I'm really happy to have you here as well. Whether it's five of you or five thousand of you watching this, you have my sincere thanks and I hope you enjoy the content. So why a channel about D&D? Well, let me tell you how I got into the hobby and it'll probably explain exactly why this channel exists. So I've dabbled in RPGs for most of my life. The first time I actually played D&D was back when I was in middle school. It was second edition, and my brother, my older brother, was my first ever DM. And it didn't stick at that time, but I did enjoy it, and I would come back to it periodically in the intervening years. So through most editions of the game, I've played in scattered one-shots here and there. In more recent years, I've discovered other RPGs, and I've gotten to dabble in those a little bit. I was in a play-by-forum Star Wars RPG that lasted for a few years at one point, and there are a handful of others that I've gotten to try. And it's something that I knew that I enjoyed, but I never really considered myself a member of the hobby because it wasn't something that I did regularly. So a couple of years ago, fifth edition had come out, but I hadn't played it yet. And a friend of mine who I knew through board gaming said, hey, there is this meetup and a bunch of us get together and we play D&D, you should come. And I said, all right, I'm looking for something to do. I know I enjoy D&D, this will be fun. And it was. And then I came back the ne next month to the same meetup and did the same thing and really enjoyed it. Then the next month I was all set to attend again and a week before the event, the organizer, who was a friend of mine, posted that the group who was DMing had disappeared and she couldn't contact them. So I contacted her and I said, you know what? I've only played this a couple times, but it seems like a lot of fun. I think I can run the game. I think I would enjoy it. Put me in, coach. And on a week's prep, having only played 5th edition two or three times by that point, I ran my first ever session. And the session was kind of a mess. I messed up a lot of rules and there was some game flow issues that I could have managed better. But despite all of those things, I had a really good time and my players seemed to be having a really good time. And after it was over, I talked to my friend who was in the group playing and she told me that, yeah, there were some things that maybe could have gone a little bit differently, but I had a blast, we should do this again. And it was really that session where I caught the bug, where I fell in love with the game and really felt immersed in the world that we had created together. And it was about this time too, where I was in a bit of a rut in my life and I didn't have too many creative outlets. And I started to go to these meetups and then started to run games and that scratched an itch that I didn't know that I had until I started playing D&D and running the game regularly. So fast forward a little over two years and I had been having lots of interesting discussions with other DMs and I had become a member of various online forums where we talk about different tips and strategies and best practices. I had been creating supplements and adventures to run at the table or things to help myself or my friends play at the table. And at some point I said to myself, I want to expand the audience that I'm sharing this with. How do I do that? And the answer to that question was Bumbling Through Dungeons. So I named the channel Bumbling Through Dungeons for a reason. I don't consider myself an expert, but in the time that I've been playing regularly and playing seriously, I've applied myself diligently to improving my game, whether it's as a player or as a dungeon master. And through that process, which has been equal parts analytical and introspective, 
I've really learned a lot about my play style, about my DMing style, about what I can do better, about where my faults and flaws still are when I play, but collectively it's really improved my experience at the table and the game is a lot more fun as a result. So that's what this channel is about. Whether you're a brand new player or an experienced player, it's about stumbling and bumbling your way through the game, making mistakes but learning from them and coming out on the other side better off for it and enjoying your experience at the table more. So where can you find Bumbling Through Dungeons content? Well, you're watching this video, so you've already found the primary outlet for my content, and that's gonna be YouTube. I'm gonna come out with one video each week with the exception of one week per month. So it's gonna be, give or take 40 videos a year. The second channel that I wanna point your attention toward is the website, bumblingthroughdungeons.com. I'll put a link to it down in the description of this video. And there you can find not just videos, but other content that I'll be creating, including a blog that I'll be coming out with. Now the blog won't be quite as regular as the videos, but in that off week where I don't have a video each month, I'll make sure to release at least one blog post and there will be others as I'm able to generate the content and have ideas for posts. There's also a Facebook page if you use Facebook regularly where you can monitor updates to the content. And last but not least, I am starting to create materials for players to be able to download or purchase to use at their tables. All of these are going to be made available on the DMs Guild, which is a popular website for community creators to create and share their content with others who will benefit from it in their game. And as of this recording, this intro video for my channel, there are two supplements available for download on my DMs Guild creator page. In the coming months, there will be more made available. And these first two, one is a low level adventure. The other is a new monster, a new creature that you can use in your game. Both of these are available absolutely free. So I would encourage you to check those out and check back regularly for other updates that will be occurring, other materials that I'll be creating in the coming months. More than anything, I hope that in all the content I create, whether it's blogs, whether it's adventure modules or these videos, I hope that my interest and passion in D&D and role-playing games and everything that they can be at the table comes out in this content. And I hope that the content is meaningful for you. I hope you're able to get a lot of ideas that you can incorporate into your DMing, into your play, or even if it's just something that you enjoy watching. I really hope that it's meaningful content for you. And in this day and age, there's such a great community surrounding D&D &D and role-playing games in general. And I've really enjoyed interacting with that community of people who I might never meet in person, but share the same interests, share the same passions, and want to um, share their love of games and RPGs with others. So if you like the content, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you in future videos. Until then, take care. Make sure to like and subscribe and check here for weekly new content. Also, check the links in the description for more on the Bumbling Through Dungeons website and a free adventure module on DM's Guild. Thanks for stopping by! Okay, are, are we done? Oh, thank goodness. All right, turn that thing off and go get the card. I'll first, I'll first pick of Karen's step before anyone finds out, okay? Oh!